Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a new mod map tour of the Forgotten Isles. This is a map by Maps by Mako. It's 280.44 megabytes to download for all platforms. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and start off by reading the description of the map and then we'll go ahead and get into looking at it here. So it says, Welcome to the Forgotten Isles, a fictional map. Here you will find multiple large islands with many more smaller fields surround or smaller islands, excuse me, surrounding them, all of which are connected by a single lane dirt road. In new farmer mode, you start off on a central, a large central island with a small cattle farm. Forestry is an option with multiple islands covered in trees, as well as other islands to build your own farm from scratch. On top of the southeast mountain, there are some forestry areas that surround an abandoned monster truck racetrack. A chainsaw and some tree, tree clearing is needed. Uh, a smaller medium equipment is recommended for this map. I hope you enjoy the Forgotten Isles. Features 30 fields, over 5 forest areas, a BGA, stone mining area, small town, light traffic, and town area only. Uh, DLC container cell points, collectibles, over 30 different decoration placeables, mainly base game productions, custom bakery and cereal factory require additional products. There's a bulk farm style that holds most bulk materials. No lime stations on map. Map has three bulk buying stations that sell lime as well. A uh, custom greenhouse, uh, greenhouses, fertilizer and more are required and a monster truck course. So there we go. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and speed up time. So we got up to about noon in here just so we can see it hopefully a little bit better. Yeah, a little bit brighter out there. Uh, so here's where you start off in new farmer mode. Um, we've already made a little bit of money, it looks like, so we'll take a look at that in a second. But here is the map. So uh, quite unique, I think. Um, I'm pretty excited about where maps are going in FS22. I think we're starting to get just some kind of unique maps, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that looks like the track up there. Uh, but yeah, this is a nifty looking map. So down here, new farmer mode, we own this kind of chunk of land down here with a few fields on it. Looks like actually most of those are going to be Gra no, that grass fields. Yep, all of those are grass fields except for uh, field eight here, at least right now. You obviously can plow them under and do that sort of thing. So yeah, up here we also have um, kind of a map key. Some main roads are in gray. Uh, there we go. Some main roads there. Dirt roads through here. Water crossings through there. Makes sense. Bridges. So there's a couple of bridges. Um, there's one bridge right there. One bridge, one bridge right there. Uh, stone mine road. So this must be a stone mining area, which is cool. Looks like good quarry there. And then the monster truck park, which is up there at the top. So what we'll do is we'll walk around. Well, where are we at? We're right here. Uh, we'll probably actually get in this truck that's right next to us, look around this area, and then look around this island, um, and then maybe kind of make a loop around here, get some of this main stuff. Um, and then we'll probably hit the rest of the peripheral area on the on a flyover, because I think that'll just work a little bit uh, better. Oh, steep terrain is also marked, which is, I think, some of this up here. So it uh, should be good. There's a lot of exciting stuff on this map, I think. Um, no custom crops. Looks like pretty standard crop calendar as well. Um, custom products, are there any in here? Nope, no custom products. So just some of the things might require different things to make them, um, as it mentioned. Quite a bit of starting equipment. We'll take a look at all that in the store here in a second, including our pickup that is just completely in need of repair. We start with $100,000 in uh, new farm mode. We made $93. We have some property income coming in. So we probably have some solar panels or something somewhere. And then we also are paying for water, which means we probably have animals, which we do. We have, oh man, we have a variety of cows here. Uh, totaling one, two, three, four, five, six. We have 14 in here. Yeah, 14 total cows, looks like. So there we go. Um, there are contracts in the fields we do not own. We do own two greenhouses to start, and you can see some of those new products that you're required to put in uh, to get the various things out. So this one requires liquid fertilizer. What's the difference? Oh, and manure there. No, manure is on all of them. What's the difference between? Oh, there's just two types. I was like, why is that one wider than the other ones? But that's just two, two times the materials. But yeah, so you need lime, liquid fertilizer. Uh, seeds, manure, and water to get those things to grow. So just a little bit more difficult for you, a little bit extra challenge. I'm going to turn that off, and let's go ahead and turn that off as well to make my life a little easier going around the map. Uh, but yeah, let's hop out. So we'll drive that way. Our starting farm is just over that way, over yonder, but uh, we're going to start off in the truck here. And look, I mean, just some of this stuff is that just cracks me up. I love that, how that's just kind of set up there like it was abandoned, and it's they're just leaving it there. Love that. A lot of good detail on the map, it looks like there's going to be. So uh, pretty cool. Kind of like a nice wetlands area. So I like that. Um, all right. We'll head up this way. We have a fuel station, I believe, just here on our left-hand side. We've got fuel station. Then on the right-hand side coming up, we have the animal dealer, exports, animal dealer, cell point, that is. And then the bulk station or one of the bulk stations right there. All right. So drive over and take a look at that. So here's the animal dealer section here. I love like just some of the details that are going on here. I think it's fantastic. There's the animal dealer, big old building, animal dealer cell point right here. Flipping around it too, which this honestly, maps like nowadays, like, and here's, I think this is the animal dealer buying system. This is one of the bulk, yeah, bulk stations right there. So you can buy different products there, including lime, 
Um, one of the kind of standards now is almost like that most of these maps that are coming out have a lot of good detail on them. Um, and there's the other cell point right there for us. But we're going to head out. So, yeah. I mean, honestly, everything that's coming out is a lot of, a lot, got a lot of good detail on it, which is fantastic. And that's the edge of the map right there, so we don't want to go that way. Uh, if I just uh, sneak into the store here, I think this is the store. I can. There we go. Beautiful. Right here, we have bulk buying station, as well as... We have the store trigger and the repair shop right there. And this is this is a really cool looking store. I like that. Um, but yeah, that's what we got right here. And then we also have, well, we have a forklift that we can use at the store, which is nice too. We have a spinnery and electric charging station just ahead as well. Sorry, I'm trying to sip my coffee as we do this. Forklift, spinnery, there's a loading ramp you can use and then electric charging station right back there. Ramp right there. So there you go. Everything you need up here for that. Try not to hit the pedestrians. Drive across this way over here. We have what do we have here actually. Uh, Trekkers clothing. Um, I don't know what this. Oh, this might be the wardrobe. I bet it's the wardrobe. Yep, sure is. Okay, fantastic. And then about the cell points around back. Yep, just right there. And then what else do we have? Actually, we haven't seen here. So we have the supermarket cell point, and that's about it. So supermarket. Get back in our truck here. Be right next door, I think. Yep, right in that big parking lot. Let's cut across here. Oop, knock that sign out of the way. It's fine. Everything's fine. So people are driving their tractors to the shop here. Looks like. Well, actually, that looks like another repair trigger right there. Or no, that's not going to be a repair trigger. Sorry, that's going to be the spinnery point. Never mind. Sorry. I apologize about that. That's for the production point. And there we go. There's a cell point for the supermarket. We can take this back way out. Let's take us back around past the spinnery cell point, past the fuel station. And then if we curve right here, this will take us back across this kind of little water crossing area it'd be cool if these randomly would flood that would be kind of nifty actually to kind of deal with that problem um but i don't know how difficult that is to mod into a map but regardless of that here we are at our farm there is one of our harvesters right there in our field and these are all of our grass fields on the right hand side oops i want to drive over there and then here we have kind of our main farmyard which i'm going to hop out and take a look at but let's go ahead and take a look at our starting equipment here it uh, looks like we have some decent stuff actually so start off with a fat fabric 515c and a viewer 6105 we also have a Fent 724 Vario, and then we also have a Man TGS truck. We have a Deutzfar Harvester. We also have a grain header for that harvester, and we have a header trailer. Nope, doesn't look like it, which is fine. Telehandler there for us. A uh, forklift, that's the one up at the shop, so it looks like we actually do own that. It's not owned by the shop, which is kind of interesting. We have the pickup truck, which we're driving around. We have a couple of trailers, a Load King, and then a Welger DK115. Um, we also have a small subsoiler, cedar, fertilizer spreader, slurry spreader, mower, header, Windrower, loading wagon, uh, animal feed mixer, and a water tank. Uh, front loader attachment. And then for front loader tools, we have a big bag handler and a manure fork. For the telehandler, we have ourselves a bale fork. Then we have a low loader, and then we have ourselves a 10 winkle weight. So quite a few pieces of equipment. Um, there's our truck backed in there. Um, here's our silo right here, it looks like. Gate out this way. I love how, I just love the kind of the setup for this farm. Nice little kind of compact little area here. Uh, we got some big bags of seed and such in the back, looks like. Yep, there's some solid fertilizer and there's some seed back there for us if we want to use it. Uh, fuel point here, if we wanted to put some fuel in there. Is there any fuel in there? Oh, there's 2,000 liters already in there. That's nice. And then I believe this is going to be our sleep trick right here. Yep, there we go. Then we have a power washer and some more storage. And we also have some silage additive already set to good to go for us, which is kind of nice. Um, and I think that's everything kind of on the farm. Oh, we do have some bees somewhere as well. Um, and I didn't need to figure out where our cows are at. So we actually, oh, we own this little chunk of land over here. So that's kind of like our secondary farm. Uh, so we own some beehives. I'm assuming those are just, yep, they're around the back here. So there we go. That's where they're at back there. Okay, fantastic. Let's hop back in the truck and drive over to kind of the other half of the farm, which is just right across the way over here. And you know, all these grass fields are ours. This would be a great map to start off doing some silage work and stuff like that just to get you going. We own that grass field on the left-hand side. And then we own this little cutout down here. So down here. We got ourselves our telehandler lo loaded up with some uh, mineral feed, which is kind of nifty. Um, and then we got the manure fork on there. We have our cow pen here. Which is great. And I don't think, is this the robot one? This isn't the robot one, is it? No, it's not. Okay. This is not the robot one. I figured it was not, but I just want to make sure. Um, we got 14 in there. We can put uh, up to 80 in there. We have our slurry tank over here with 28,000 liters of slurry already. This goes down here to our little water area where we can get some water. So fantastic. Uh, really good looking starting farm. I really like that. There's manure there as well. Uh, 
Munker silo there. And then we have, of course, our bale storage, which is fantastic. And we have bales in there, which is really cool. Uh, so this kind of really has a kind of working farm already kind of underway here. So they already start off with some stuff, which I think is a really, a really nifty feature. Um, so yeah, we are over here now. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive over this way, just cut across here, uh, take a look at this island. Probably, actually, yeah, we'll probably just dip over, take a look, come back over. Um, yeah, come back over to here, drive along here, take a look at this section through here. And then I think from there, take a look at that stuff. Um, I think we will do a flyover. I think that'll be the plan. Well, actually, let's even make a bigger loop. I'm just going to turn around and head around this way so we also get some of this stuff in. That's just another water point there. Um, over here, what do we have? We have a bakery, cereal factory, and a mill over there. Okay, so those ones will hit on the flyover. But yeah, I'm just going to flip around here, um, and we will head out this way. Out this way here, so we can kind of get a little bit more in our tour. But yeah, I really like the concept of the map, and I really like the kind of feel for the map uh, while you're on it. So really well done. Really well done. I love the abandoned equipment in the water too. That's gotta be one of my favorite things. That is fantastic. <laughs> All right, so on the right-hand side, as we're going here, we have ourselves, oh boy, oh boy, I'm about to crash probably. We have the dairy. I tried to look at the map real quick and it did not work out well for me. So the dairy on the left or right-hand side. Left-hand side, we have the BGA, it looks like. Yep, which is nice, not very far from your farm. So if you wanna do some silage work, that'd be real easy to do. Up that way, you can see the water point right there, and then you can see the other factories in the distance. Oh, and I am, and I'm about to lose it. Yep, don't drive too deep in the water. I'm trying not to. Oh, can we get it? All right, we're good. <laughs> and that was almost real bad, but we survived. So we're good. We survived. Uh, it happens. And all these trees look like they'd be pretty easy to clear if you wanted to clear them from around, uh, around things. So pretty easy to do there. Some of these castings are a little bit more tricky with some of these bumps and stuff so I kind of like that um okay yeah we're gonna head up this way we're gonna just take take a stop here and then probably head back down this way over that way so that's kind of the plan here and this thing's almost out of fuel as well I didn't even notice that so thankfully we're not driving too far we would definitely run out of fuel a lot of cool features here and this is this is tricky here look at this crossing here this is <laughs> This would be fantastic too. This uh, this uh, map for like kind of a role play sort of series and stuff like that would be fantastic. And out here we have our two greenhouses. So those are our greenhouses out here. I didn't even notice that those were out this way. But there you go. Those are the modded greenhouses, and those are the ones that we own right there. I'd be very careful about where I drive here because I already know I can go too deeply into the water in other places. So certainly I can do that here. All right, we've made it. Just gonna cut along here, take a look at some of this stuff. Lots of good, and there's a lot of space in here too. Like there's some big fields and stuff to work with. So um, yes, it is a very unique map, but it's very cool, very cool. This one doesn't look like you should be able to cross. That definitely looks, yeah, that one's that one's sketchier than sketchy can be right there. So be careful with that. Um, on the right-hand side here, all right. So what do we have going on right in here? So we have ourselves the wooden container cell point. We also have a bulk buying station, a sawmill. Um, as well. And then over there where we have the carpentry. Yep. So that makes sense. So bulk buying station and that's the container cell station. And if we go around here, um, we should be get a nice view of sawmill, which is right there at that side. So there we go. And we're going to head this way, go across this nice way station right here. And here's our carpentry point right over here. And on that note, we are going to hop into flight mode and take a look at this map from above, which I know a lot of you guys are going to be excited about because I am excited about it. So really well set up. I like some of the stuff off in the distance. You kind of feel like the town goes on that way for a while. Um, obviously, they use the, I believe this is the Erling Grat ground that they're using here. But looks good over here. We didn't even go out to this kind of boat ramp area. There's a whole other cell point out here that I completely missed. Two of them. Bombass heating plant, the debris crusher out there on the uh, pier, which I think is pretty cool. So you can deliver stuff out that way if you'd like to. Lots of little islands. Again, lots of little islands here and there. Main town area through here. Got some fields up over here as well. And then this thing here, this goes around. You can drive on this. It goes up here, all the way up to this big old like hotel looking area up at the top here. So that's, let me zoom out a little bit. So that was us driving up along this way. Um, great processing unit up here, hotel sales, hotel firewood sales, and the oil mill. So a lot of good stuff up here. There's hotel fire sales, oil mill. Drive back down this side if you'd like to, and that's gonna kind of take you over here to um, the cereal factory, bakery, and the grain mill is right over this way. And if we cut back this way, that takes us to the BGA, 
the dairy, and then our kind of farm, which is on this main island right here, which has kind of two little parts right there, which is fantastic. Um, that is going to be the sawmill right there, as well as a container cell point. There's our bulk buying point down there as well. There's the carpentry point. We head down this way. There's still plenty of cool stuff on this map. See, kind of like some plateaued areas here. Uh, this obviously you can build your own farm up here if you'd like to. There's some nice cleared areas. So if you wanted to do that up here, this would be a perfect spot for that. A huge forestry chunk through here. So a lot of forestry you can do through there. Um, and then up over here, there's the BGA there. So uh, we haven't gone down. Oh yeah, we haven't done it. I'm getting all lost on the map now. Uh, here's the, the quarry road is what they called it. It doesn't look like there's any actual stone you can remove or anything. Oh, there is. I will be dipped. You can do it in this tunnel right here. There's a little bit here. There's some lime there. This is nifty. Well, look at that. A quarry tunnel. That is fabulous. That was well done. That, that even surprised me. That was fantastic. I love that. Um, and up here, you also can work up here. This is the racetrack, and you can clear this woods if you wanted to do some farming up here, whatever you want to do. Um, this looks ridiculous as well. Um, yeah, this is wild. This is some straight up of craziness right here this is fantastic look at this you can have a boat that's sitting in the water <laughs> so you have a monster track on here uh this is fantastic this is great um well done well done on this map this is fantastic i like it there's a lot of good stuff on this i think and i think there's something on here for everyone so uh there you guys go that is the forgotten isles if you guys enjoyed this map tour please drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen or the follow button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel turn your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been farmer cop thank you guys for coming and for watching see you guys in the next one